right here. This is it. Look, 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 are you ready? He's gonna do it. Oh, he didn't do it. Well, it is not approved. Lolita. Today we hit some PRs and we're celebrating with burritos, corgis. So don't! Happens, Stop. And burritos, cause yeah. And I never eat burritos. I'm really not a burrito person, but I'll smell a burrito today. So yeah, that's what we're doing. Say hi, Lola. She's not really into people. I've never seen Top Gear. Have you guys seen Top Gear? Top Gear? This relationship is Top over. Gun. Hey, hey. I really do like Top Gear. It's though. over. I, no. They're very we're similar done. words. We're through. No. Nope. They're we're very no, no, similar no, words. No, you just disrespected like my entire childhood, and like all of my childhood friends by saying that. And I'm here to say, me and Lola are leaving you for good. You can't take the dog. You're deep throat in that burrito the over there, dude. From each class has his name on it. I'm trying to eat away the sadness. Of this and they have the option to come back here to be Top Gun and Unforgivable. <laughs> Who leaves voicemails? Hey, Willen. I thought I'd just let you know that I'm watching Top Gun and that I miss you very much. And not only that, my girlfriend mistakenly Our name. referred to Top Gun as Top Gear. And I'm calling... The British to, version! I'm calling to consult with you to see whether or not I should continue this relationship. Goodbye. I hope he, I hope he listens to it. I hope not. No one listens to it. No one listens to it. Look at that, people. Okay, well that looks really good. This is shower tile with black grout. And this is in the kitchen. This is the backsplash now. So this is like a curvature subway tile with gray grout because I have gray veining in my countertops. But you know what they told me is that, so I guess this back wall is 95 inches yeah. and they designed it poorly. It should have been 96, but they didn't account for probably an inch That's of drywall. Yeah. So yeah, so that was why they had that. So they almost were saying I needed a 24 inch stove, but he ended up fixing it, but on, where the stove is, there's gonna be like that much of a gap. Yeah. Just like open. Yeah, probably open. like something like that. Good to go. Yeah. And then there's gonna be a diagonal cabinet here, a lazy Susan, and another lazy Susan there. And so now this ceiling's gonna be raised up. Yeah, did it. Bring it up. Well, I think this looks so good. I'm really excited. This looks beautiful. Oh my gosh. Okay, I turned on my camera to address why do I feel like <sighs> I look dead like this is how a dead person looks look how white like why I bet you're wondering why the title of this video is called set higher standards 2020 well I'm talking about myself I just sat down to edit my January favorites video I filmed it last night at my house before we had dinner for my dad's birthday I looked like this. I was literally wearing like the same shirt, same hair, barely any makeup on. It was dark. I only had my camera light. There's like no light in my room right now just because I don't know why I haven't replaced light bulbs and it looked terrible. The video looks absolutely terrible. I don't have a mic so the sound is terrible. I have been wanting to get a new camera body that has a built-in mic that I can plug in an external mic, excuse me. And this camera started out as a great vlogging camera. It used to take great videos. I don't know what happened. I have adjusted the setting so many times. I hate, hate putting out terrible quality content. I know the quality of my videos is not the best because I need a better camera body. I need to work on taking better B-rolls. I need better volume or better sound i know sound is such a big deal and i haven't invested in you know a vlogging mic and then an actual like mic for when i do sit downs and stuff and that is a huge goal of mine this year is to get all that stuff together because i generally i generally genuinely like producing quality content like that marcus has a lot of the equipment and he always offers to let me use it and it always works out when he's with me, but he's not with me all the time. And I don't want to ever have to like depend on me always using his equipment. 
Um, obviously, I'm not going to invest in like top of the line stuff because this isn't my job. It's not a full time thing. It's just a hobby. And I put off investing in it because I still have to, well, I'm still renovating. I still have to furnish my place. And while I can't afford buying a new camera right now, if I really wanted to, I just like, I'm not letting myself because there's other things that take priority. I have to be responsible. And I just don't want to have to like stress about my finances for absolutely no reason. That's kind of the reason why I've been not putting out structured videos is because I don't feel like I have the setup right now for it. It's just been really frustrating. And that's why I've been vlogging a lot because I don't feel like I need to have like top of the line quality imagery for a vlog. Sorry, it's really loud. And so that's why I've been doing the vlogs. And I really enjoy them, I really do. Um, but if, if it feels like I've been a hot mess, like physically, and it feels like my video quality has been a hot mess, I mean, even some of the videos I put out last year, like, if they weren't crispy, clear imagery, because that was Marcus's camera, it's just, I'm trying really hard, but. It's just not working <laughs> with the camera I have and and I always have to remind myself I'm not a YouTuber. This is not my end means to an end. Uh, this isn't my job. I don't owe it to anyone to have top of the line quality content, but I want to give that because I don't want to like half-ass anything. It's just not really what I'm about. So I just wanted to explain myself to all of you. Maybe you don't care. Maybe. Maybe you have noticed, so that's where the title of this video comes from. Hello. It is Saturday, February 8th, and I'm in my place right now. We just got back from Lamps Plus to get some sconces for my bathroom, but I want to show you guys really quickly what's going on. We're in the kitchen right now. Um, we came in to really like pick a paint color. Um, we've decided not to paint yet, but this is pretty much the paint color we're going with. It's kind of hard to, so, oh, there you go. That's a little bit better. So we've read that for North facing light, you shouldn't paint white, which is what I have, North facing white. So we're painting this color, totally blanking on it. Um, I'll find it and let you guys know. But it's kind of like a taupey color. I think it's gonna look really nice with my floors and especially my couch, because I was getting kind of nervous that I wasn't gonna be able to keep my couch, but I think I'm gonna be able to. So this far color is what it's gonna really look like. And it's on the wall too. It's kind of dark in here now, because it's like the afternoon. But, oh my God, yeah, you really can't tell. Okay, so maybe if I... There we go. So we yeah, we painted it like so all right here you can see where it borders. That's the normal paint color right now. This is what we're gonna paint it. Should look good. Um, not much has happened out here. They put in some of the wiring for the lights. The kitchen, they raised the ceiling. Um, it used to be about maybe six inches lower, but they raised it up. They put some lighting in it. We lowered this, I guess it's kind of like, it's a countertop really, but we brought it lower because if you guys remember, um, the sink was at this height, but then it came up and out. So now it's all one level. Um, I believe we cut it down to like 34 and a half inches. So with some plywood and countertops, it should come up maybe like an inch or maybe two inches. So that's what's going on in the kitchen. Got some sconces. I will not show you exactly what they look like, but this is what they will look like. I believe this is gold and this is black. This is like a kind of like a, a, a clear, like transparent white bulb. They're really pretty. We got two of them. Sorry, ignore my nails. Nail salon, not the best, but really excited about the tile it looks beautiful i am absolutely obsessed with it i'm so glad that i got this tile it just it looks so good looks like they're missing a piece right there um 
but sconces are going to go on the side. I got this really cool medicine cabinet from Pottery Barn. These lights are going to be coming out. Put the tub in. Didn't come cracked. Super happy about that. And I even got a little niche in there. Um, normally niches are like 12 by 12, but I made mine 13 by 18, so it was a little bit longer and a little bit taller. So if I had like tall shampoos, my hand can go in and, you know, get the shampoo out. Um, other than that, there's really not much to report on. Um, we got my cabinets in, so we're scheduling when they're gonna come and put in the cabinets, but they're gonna finish the bathroom. We're gonna paint once the kitchen is done. Basically, we're gonna paint once everything is done but the floor. Um, the floor is gonna be the last to go in, and then painting, and then, I'm sorry, then the lighting. Um, but we kind of tried to map out where like the couch would be and where like the lighting should be But because there's appliances in the living room right now, it's kind of hard to map all of that out um, but It's it's really starting to come together. It's really exciting. I'm um, Yeah, it's good. It's good. Very good. So that's kind of like all the report is hopefully in my next vlog I'll have like most of it done and then we'll do like a full reveal so thanks for bearing with me uh but yeah it's been a really interesting learning experience i'm learning a lot my mom has just been like a super woman and really helping me out because i can't like leave all day during work to go get stuff and so she's really been helping me out with that so go mom but thank you guys a lot for watching i'll see you in the next vlog bye, -bye.